Hello everybody, this is Gregory with Permanent Weight Loss Made Easy, where there should be no hesitation in your weight loss and in your weight maintenance. Today we're going to start a series on comparing disparate items and see which is better for you vis-a-vis -vis weight loss and weight maintenance. Now before we begin, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so these episodes come fresh to you. And also, if you need help with weight loss and more importantly and harder, weight maintenance, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. As you guys know, I've lost over 100 pounds and I've kept it out for 33 years. All right, so we do have a playlist here on superfoods, like the 30 foods that I have in my kitchen that help me with my weight loss. So in there would be tea, for example, but also things that I, I, that I like to eat, like hummus. And uh, I do have an episode there on chips. So I thought it'd be good to con compare two disparate items, two items that, that really have nothing in common and to talk about which is healthier in terms of your weight loss. So I'm gonna pick Ruffles or any spray-laden chip with MSG and compare it to cookie dough ice cream or whatever ice cream you want, cookies and cream, whatever you want. Now, these are completely disparate items. The, the, the caloric profile, sadly, is probably gonna be about the same, but the macronutrient profile, the, the carbs, proteins, and fats are gonna be different. And we're not gonna get too bogged down on you know, how many how many grams of fat or one in serving da, da, da. we're just going to look at the overall kind of macro picture of this and so with chips chips certainly are problematic we have an episode here on like how to navigate through the land of chips because chips are high in calorie and low in nutrition as a whole it's one of the middle aisle foods at the grocery store we know like ultra processed foods upfs are really the main culprit as to why we are fat and type 2 diabetic right now uh, because they're high in calories and low in nutrition and they lead to mineral and vitamin deficiencies which can lead later on to death and they're most as a whole full of simple carbohydrates which when the body breaks down and this is very similar and kind of like you know germane to this episode but the ice cream has sugar but so do the chips the chips are going to break down into carbs too that they're gonna be metabolized the same way, which spikes for insulin to control the blood glucose in our body, and insulin causes fat storage. So chips are problematic. They're problematic also in that they're genetically modified. So chips are typically, unless you're getting lentil chips from some grocery, health grocery store, they're either gonna be potato or corn. Both of them are GMO. And certainly corn is genetically modified here. But let's say you get organic chips. But let's say Ruffles has organic chips, but they don't. So we're just gonna compare like the typical Lay's or Ruffles chip, and you can pick the flavor, sour cream, cheese, whatever it is. So most of these are going to have high calorie, low nutrition. They're not gonna have a lot of fiber uh, because they're, they're not from a fibrous product. We know fiber comes from plant-based foods and animal fats, meats don't have fiber. And so the typical chip is gonna be high in calorie and low in nutrition. And the problem with the flavored chips is that they're also sprayed with monosodium glutamate, MSG, which is an obesogen, and it's a neurotoxin. So don't think that there's some dude at some factory that's dropping barbecue sauce on each chip as it passes the conveyor belt. They spray these, and the thing about MSGs is that they're addictive, right? This is why they put them in canned ravioli, they put them in soups. It's a salty flavor enhancer that is in practically any chip. So the, the chips that won't have MSGs, which again, are an obesogen, they cause obesity, would be ones that are not flavored. So you're looking at tortilla chips, but you know, there's gonna be some that have like the lime flavored, flavored, lime, lime flavored, but like tortilla chips, regular uh, like Fritos, anything Funyuns, they're not flavored, they won't have MSG. But the problem with chips, again, is they, the food scientists create them in a way that they're so addictive. You can't just stop one. You'll eat a whole bag of Lay's. So that's a problem there. So you look at ice cream. So let's compare. Ice cream, of course, is going to have more sugar, more real sugar than chips. But it's also going to have protein, and we do need protein. I would say that most Americans are probably eating too much protein unless you're working out at the gym a lot. It's going to have protein, it's going to have fat, and it's going to have sugar but it is closer to being a real food than chips. Chips are not a real food. If you have to eat chips, I would tell you, eat blue corn tortilla chips. Those are pretty much the only healthy ones. Yeah, you can get lentil chips and chips that are made from some, some vegetable. Like you could, they have the ones that are made 
um, from um, like beets and stuff like that. Okay, we'll, we'll eliminate those. So, but we're just looking at the two big categories, which are gonna be corn-based and potato-based. The potato base, I would just stay away from completely because there's nothing healthy. The potato is very low in nutrients. Sweet potatoes are a little better, but regular potatoes, no. So blue corn does have higher rates of fiber, uh, which is good. But the problem with all chips is that they're fried in an industrial grade vegetable oil. But blue corn chips would be the way to go if you're gonna eat chips. But again, low fiber, high in calories, ice cream. Ice cream's problem is it's gonna have a lot more sugar and it's gonna have dairy. And we talked about the problems with dairy. Not everybody's lactose intolerant, but you're looking at casein, which is an enzyme in dairy that can be problematic in terms of inflammation and cancer. You're also looking at the majority of ice cream, is sh the, the, the cows, I should say, not the ice cream, but the cows are shot up with recombinant bovine growth hormone or RBGH, RBST is another name for it and um, this is problematic and they also shoot up the cows with antibiotics uh, we have an episode here do antibiotics make you fat because they intentionally shoot them in animals to make them fat so you're looking at that but let's say let's just do an objective comparison organic ice cream with organic chips again even though we're doing ruffles and they don't come organic which is better for you in terms of weight loss and weight maintenance the big question is the serving size the serving size but let's say you do the serving size that's on the carton I would tell you as a whole, you're getting more macronutrients actually from ice cream because it is going to have more protein and it's going to have uh, more fat than you're getting from chips. Chips don't really have a lot, but if you had to compare and say one, I'd say if, if you're doing Ruffles cheddar cheese sprayed MSG versus chocolate chip cookie dough, I would tell you that cookie dough is better. If you can, if you can stick it to a serving size, serving size, one serving size. Uh, because at least ice cream has more natural things in it. If you're comparing it to blue corn tortilla chips, blue corn tortilla chips, they get the blue corn from South America, they smoosh it down, they fry it. Then it is something closer to nature, even though they fry it and rinse it in industrial good vegetable oil. But if you can stick it to one serving and you're choosing blue corn chips, then I would say the blue corn chips. But in this comparison, as I mentioned in the beginning, between Ruffles, Spray, Cheesy, MSG, and ice cream, I would tell you that actually ice cream is better if you can stick to the serving size. So what are you more likely to binge eat? An entire bag of Ruffles, sour cream and onion, or an entire half gallon of ice cream? Because ice cream has fat, a lot of fat, it's harder. Just like you can't eat a 32 ounce steak. It's the same thing, right? Because fat fills you up. This is why something like a low carb or keto diet is more, uh, it's, it's easier in some ways because you can't overeat steak you know it's harder to do that so i would tell you that it's over it's easier to overeat a bag of chips and that's why i would tell you in this comparison between lays and ice cream i would say that actually ice cream would be better for you in terms of weight loss and weight maintenance guys post in the comments i'd love to hear from you until next time take care god bless and pray